footy is back. Well, you know, it's at least done for round six. G'day, I'm Living Walnut, Tony McGinnis. No, I'm not Tony McGinnis. I'm James Clements, and I'm the host here of AFL Today. And joining me for this, I can't believe over a quarter of the season is done. Ah, local footy nuffs. Weirdos, apparently AFL experts. I oh, know one of them went one for eight on his tips. That's Alex Donnelly. <laughs> I had to look up who Tony McGuinness was. I, that's the first one I haven't got the whole the whole oh, season. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, he played for one. Footscray in Adelaide. He oh. was born in 1964. There you go. Yeah, good stuff, Tony. Just a grab from the uh, past. How was that one, Jim? Well, he hosted a footy clinic in Ballarat when oh, I was seven. Oh, oh there there's, we there's go. always a connection. It to always Ballarat. comes wrong. <laughs> I'll wait till he rolls out with Ty Canelli or something. Yeah. yeah. And they're agreeing, but also just angry at the world and wants to see everything burn. <laughs> he it's came, the stats board. I've already seen everything burn, Jim. I saw it burn at Marvel Stadium. North didn't turn up. I'm not happy. And I can't believe we're doing a show right now. So you might have picked up the fact that he's a North Melbourne fan. <laughs> yes. I'm ready to just chuck this in. Interesting gear, because we're going to talk about that game. <laughs> of course uh, we are. I have a lot of gags prepared. But of course, oh. before we get into the round six wrap, we will just implore, please ask... Go star this show, subscribe to it. However you listen to your podcast, whatever. Also, though, watch it on the old YouTube. Producer Gerald does a great job. He He's does. just like back and forth. He does lots of stuff. These ones. He puts lots of time and effort into it. So go check it out on the old These YouTube. Ones. <laughs> anyway, footy's back. And so is Geelong. That's right. The quick look very quickly. There is one remaining undefeated team in the AFL this yeah, year. It is the fire. Geelong Cats. What price do you reckon that would have been at the start of the year? Uh, very high. 20s. At least A 20s. lot. Yeah, at least 20s. Well, they're back to their best. They were obviously horrible last year. Yeah, and then they're... Oh, they're they're okay. They're still good. You don't think they're yeah. back to their best? Okay. That's okay. I mean, yeah. I said they're flag contenders in the uh, power rankings. Exactly. So, yeah. They are at the moment. Still, one unbeaten team. One team remaining without a win. Don't have to talk about that. At all. I don't even think we have to talk about the game that just happened. Was there a game? Was there a game, Alex? We, well, we, we do. <laughs> it also came out just after this, well, as this game was actually finishing, that uh, it was basically announced that uh, draft compensation is going to be rolled back and that there is no chance that the Roos will get any sort of well, draft help. We Jeez, already have. We already have. For their yeah. third year run. Yeah. West Coast have horrible. timed their run to start winning perfectly. Yeah, there you go. The other one is West Coast are now unbeatable. Uh, <laughs> this is it. The it was a crazy weekend of weird, weird, wonky results, as evidenced by Alex's one of eight tipping. Oh, so this is better. funny. In, in, in the other comp I'm in, I flipped them all except for the Swans and Fremantle, and I got seven. Oh, well, nice. you yeah. should have done it that one. I know, right? <laughs> I, it's the one I don't care about. Like, oh, yeah, I'll just do the opposite except for, this, except for the Swans and, and Fremantle because I think they're both unbeatable. And I'm on top of that now. I was leading our normal ones till. This week. Yeah, yes. wow. Uh, the other one <laughs> the other one is obviously like what? Collingwood get back in the winner's circle. Uh, Brisbane, though, are now 0-3 at the Gabba this year. That yeah. is the biggest shock, I reckon, of the it season so far. It is remarkable. 0-3. Unbelievable. They yeah. had lost three games. I can tell you who they were, two At the Gabba between 2020 and yeah. 2023. They, they lost 38-3. Unbelievable. They're now 0-3. They lost this to year. Sydney, Geelong, and Melbourne. Those yep. were the three. And then Geelong, yeah, beat them again. Mm. Righto. It was awesome, though. What a chaos weekend. I think the evenness of the competition. It's what it's all about. It's all about the creamy middle. It is. Middle. Very, yeah, it is. Love to talk about the creamy middle. <laughs> uh, the creamy middle comes out, I think, in the old uh, NBA Australia fairly often. Uh, but that's to do with, like, basically parody, right? Yep. And so we talk about NFL, is, like, parody is king for the NFL. Uh, AFL, over the last couple of years, there's been a couple of teams at the very, very pointy end and a couple of Horrible teams, like your beloved Ruse there, Stats Guy. Not wrong, yeah. At the bottom. Yes. It feels like this year's creepy middle is bigger than ever. It's awesome. The fact that West Coast have won two games, Hawks have been pretty competitive. You've, yeah, you, you, you're going to get most games. Like, as we, Who as we would talk you about back in a so head-to-head matchup now of the three, two, and four teams? <laughs> Brisbane, St. Kilda, or West Coast? Go figure. Brisbane, it makes St. no Kilda sense. Or West Coast. I'd, back, I'd back West Coast. Out of all those three, okay. But the last two weeks, they have clearly been the best. But right for, uh, pretenders, but that's all right. The big question, though, this week, after round six is, do North Melbourne win a game? Yeah, nah, go, Alex. If you don't think we're going to win a game, that is a joke, but anyway. I think your team's a joke. Yeah, It is a are. joke. It, my team is a joke, but every funny, season, don't right. even get me started. Every season, the worst team in the comp, to get you the worst team in the comp always wins at least a couple of games. So we'll, we'll, we'll randomly win one. We'll fall over the line. Something will happen. 
I know. Who against a, Richmond? Essendon. Adelaide. Yeah, Essendon. Uh, Adelaide. We play Adelaide in Tassie next week. Yeah, Jim which, and I were talking about this before you we'll got We'll still in. lose, but I reckon uh, I'm, ga- I'm going to galaxy brain that normally. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tip us, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't do that, Jim. I'm definitely Don't do that. that. They'll, they'll, win, they'll win one or two. Like, there is no way in this day and age you can go undefeated. There'll I be think, some week yeah. where there's, there's like, if it's like the last round, Geelong have got the minor premiership locked up, it doesn't matter, and they just play their C squad. Mm. Like, something like that could happen. Sure. I also just love the idea of, like, you know, I've been on this from the very start. Oh, no. Clarko, any good? No. Nah. <laughs> just saying. Cooked, mate. Uh, Cooked. I'm losing some faith. He's, go, he's, go, he's gone full Dennis Pagan. You never go full Dennis uh, Pagan. <laughs> the Swans getting an end of first round pick for Dylan Stevens. Mwah, he's mate. been horrible. I thought right. he was going to be a good pick. So did I. That's yeah, a yeah. lot of complaining about North Melbourne. Oh, we'll be doing it's more like four. <laughs> Vince Ash. I don't want to keep banging on about this. It's getting but, worse, Jim. But can you just do your job? Oh. You're the umpires. Oh, I think that might have been touched. Do you? Do you think? Did you check? We had four yes. score reviews in a row for goals at the North game. They, As you guys have it, said. No, no, it was that one umpire yeah. who made the mistake last year and now he's, he's like, He's so nervous. I yeah. can't do my job properly. You know what there should be? A performance review. Sorry, you're demoted. No, like you guys said, if it comes back to the middle, they're reviewing it anyway. They, they were all pretty close. So that, that's why I'm like, I feel, feel for him because he's like, crap, these are all close. I probably have to review. That is fine. But they can do that in the middle. Don't have to take a long time. You yeah, get the stick off, gone, like, ball I think it up. it's hit the post. I think oh, it's... Anyway. It is chaos. It's the other, like In terms of the umpires stuff, like I think yeah, the game that you were just at, yep. there was like, and I, like obviously I was at Carlton GWS with the squid. Mm-hmm. Uh, the umpires, look, there's just these moments where you, I'm not entirely sure what constitutes dropping the ball anymore, let yeah. alone holding the ball. Yeah. And then dropping the ball. Well, there's also a thing <laughs> called a throw. I didn't I didn't know you could throw in AFL, Alex. I think that's happened in all of the games that we watched over the weekend where, all right, he might not have had any prior, but he somehow got it to his teammate that's a couple of metres away. How did he get it there yeah. with one arm? Like, he's just throwing it. Come on. And, of course, there was the Sam Draper schmozzle at the end of the oh, Adelaide uh, Essendon game. So... I, I think I've been angry since then. Can, it's can, just I, gone can I say what the um, what the umpires have come out and said? I yeah. love a good last two minute report. This is an NBA <laughs> classic. It's like here's why we were right. Yeah. In the moment, and at ground level, umpires believe that Draper dived on the ball, and then the ball came out to Draper's left, and then was knocked out under him by Walker. No, it wasn't. It, 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 shut up, This Stats is what guy. they're saying. In review sorry, with sorry. the assistance of the broadcast angle and the goals, Hawkeye provision providing clear look, you can see the ball moves from under Draper's chest to his armpit shoulder, which means still has seen his possession, hasn't been knocked clear. Therefore, it should technically have been a free kick. But on ground level, <laughs> they were not called? certain of all these factors, so they didn't pay it, which is the correct approach at the time. So they're saying, you got it wrong, but you got it no, but right. Even, even if, so no one actually tapped it under him, but even if they did, and even if they do but believe that. Guy, the umpire's person said, you got it wrong, but you got it right. They're, they're it so is, annoying. It's, I there's no words with like, I don't want to <sighs> yell about it because it seems so far gone, but it's like, he got it wrong, just come out and say he got it wrong. No, but like it, the umpires in that thing have said he, someone dragged it under. If someone dragged it under, he still has to try and get it out. His arms were outstretched doing a snow angel. He's literally flat on the ground. His arms are nowhere near the ball. They, they sometimes do those fake little ones. I would have, wouldn't have minded but that. He wasn't even little... trying to fake oh, punch yeah. it. He was just, he was just spread eagle like it, a drunk be- dude at The thing about it, Tex, the one of the best kicks in the whole comp, would have had a shot right in front. And I he would have kicked and that. And I would have got two in. And he would have got, yeah, yeah, exactly. I would have got another tip. <laughs> would have been what? beautiful. Anyway. Pulling out for the Crows fans. Yeah. Oh, they, they've been but basically, <laughs> just do your job. Oh, there was it's four not, umpires, Jim. It's not too much to ask, is it? But it's Whether the, it be a goal umpire, a field umpire, there's just so many. I feel like this week it was particularly egregious with a lot of the uh, focus on Draper. Yes. But throughout the games, you're just like, we've hit a very clear tipping point, I think, with goal reviews and mm. stuff like that, as we've banged on about on this year's show. The crypto thing, yeah. And it's just—I <laughs> said that to Leo, and he stole it off me. Yeah, I love, I love the crypto. <laughs> but vibe. also, the, the boundary umpires are not doing their job properly. There was one today where a Gold Coast bloke got a kick. It went from me to you away, Jim. It was either out on the full or a throw-in. Yes, it was deemed a mark because the boundary umpires are. I don't know. No, <laughs> and then there was another one. The guy clearly juggled it over the line, and the boundary umpires are like, "No, nah. it's like hold on, it bounced off his chest." Over the line into his hands. That's a throw-in. Mm. Just do your job. Yep. It's not. We're not asking much. 
Like, but, I mean, asking Alex to do his job is particularly <laughs> tough sometimes. At the same time, just do it. Just do your job. Just do your job. You do they do your job? I don't pay as much attention to the NBA and NFL as you, obviously. But do they do performance reviews on the referee, or do they come they out do. and be like, they "Hey, do, don't they? we yeah. really screwed the pooch here. We're we're reviewing our." processes and things like that to make the game better. I think they did last season, something like that. NFL definitely does yeah. because they're much more cognizant of like mm. obviously the broadcast and everything. And they sort of go through stages, right? Yeah. As they sort of fix stuff. NBA, they're trying their hardest. Same but with I mean, the APL. I, I come up with like basically mm. NBA fixes all the time. Yeah. And this is the point where I should be the vice president of common effing sense. Yes. Um, but that's how it rolls, right? So anyway, mm. let's do some game wraps. Yes. Remember Thursday? No. Uh, Western Bulldogs <laughs> smashed the what old St. Kilda. 124-64. It wasn't even that close. The whole way, yeah. It was... Uh, I so turned this, this was, off at halftime. Well, not doing your job. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. We <laughs> the Western Bulldogs <laughs> were going to win. <laughs> this was, I think, well, the second, well, the biggest loss of the St. Kilda's, of St. Kilda Ross Lyon yes, era. Yes, yes. 61. Which does yeah. And they a- kicked a point at the end of this to make it 60. And you're yeah. like, ah, this is horrible. But the Dogs absolutely smashed them from pillar to post. Mm. To the point where Aaron Norton, as I said, he's the Gary Ablett Jr. of Stewie Lowe's. I still don't understand that reference at all. I get it. Yeah, it's like he's Stewie Lowe, but Stewie Lowe was wildly inconsistent. Okay. He's the Gary He can Ablett play Jr. at that yeah. level as well. Yeah. Okay, And that's it. the thing. It's like six goals straight. I reckon Mars, I said amazing. during the week, I was like, Norton will pop up and kick six, but then he's not going to get a kick for the rest of the year. Well, and and yeah. then the Western Bulldogs have been going, oh, fans, didn't you want us to play him down back? It's like, you're attacking your fans. This is weird. No, but you know, I think it was not just their fans. There's lots yeah. of people from all over the shop saying everybody, back. Everybody, yeah. everybody yeah. saying, "Oh, maybe blame it." It's just back. an argument. Al. you said they've got too many people sleeping in the same spot. It, no, it, what's the phrase? Being simple. Too many, too many, too many dudes. Too many dudes. Whereas you got Norton all by himself because Rory Lobb's not going to touch. He's actually by himself. Rory Lobb was goals. good. Lobb played uh, well, but he, he played okay, further yeah. up the ground. Yeah, more, he right? didn't so, have to get yeah. goals. And there's yeah. an, like the next time he actually takes a mark will be the first time he's taken a mark. Like. I don't know how that dude managed to have his, like, so tall, how that? he gets through life having concrete hands is actually pretty amazing. I'm shocked <laughs> he plays golf well. Does he? Maybe he just uses he's his, tall he's for he's golf. Like yeah. seven. Mm. He uses his concrete hands just, like, attached to the club, <laughs> just yeah. swing hey, through so it. Can we just be honest? It's got great this, hip movement. Th- this game is why we hate, like, fans Both of, teams. Uh, uh, <laughs> fans yeah, of yeah. either, not, yeah. people who don't support St Kilda or the Western Bulldogs watch this game, this is exactly yeah. why we hate you. St Kilda, you showed us so much promise. Yes, stink. The Western Bulldogs get smashed by Essendon last week, then do this. And we're they just both like, have so much promise. These two teams could be top six. If and, they, everyone's, and I'm still yeah. going to talk down the Western Bulldogs. It's like, do it again. Yeah. Do yep. it two weeks in a row. That's wrong. all it is. It's inconsistency. Mm. You can't stand it. If you were like a fan of either of these teams, you'd just be like on tenterhooks every yeah. week going, I hate my team. Oh, I love my team. I hate my, my team. Oh, I love my, my team. My dad comes over. So you're just not, naturally depressed. Do you know your team sucks? I'm not naturally depressed. I'm naturally pessimistic. Yeah. There's a very clear and distinct <laughs> I'm difference. usually positive, but it's, it's hard now. But you're a positive <laughs> dude, but you know your football team sucks. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. Let's look at you talking about this game. <laughs> anyway, no. Bulldogs, Norton was awesome, but obviously Jamari Yugo Hagen was a laid out with mm-hmm. personal reasons anyway, right? So yes. Lob Which was a big out, yeah. Comes in. Waitman got them going early. Yep. And that basically just set the ball rolling. And St. Kilda never looked like getting no. into this game. It Jack was McRae weird. was awesome. Uh, he obviously couldn't even get picked. He goes, Bevo, I'm Back still good. Form. Bailey Dale, who was the sub last week, I reckon he was best on. I'm going to talk about him later as well. He was unbelievable. Two first names, two last two, names. Yeah, yeah. But he, he was good a couple of years ago. And then Bevo was putting him as a sub. <laughs> Jim doing that. It's just there. So too much, many Baileys. Too many Baileys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, is that why know, Bailey, Bailey Smith's not playing? It's like me when I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> too much Baileys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, uh, good job by the dogs. Amazing Fine. win, yeah. Like, it was all like but the way that they, right, yeah. they curb stopped hate, them. But I come hate on. both of them so much. <laughs> but honestly, just win a couple in a row. That's yeah. all we If the are. dogs go well, uh, who do they play next? Freo week? next week in if Perth. They, yeah, if they can win that, then we're like, all right. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna tip them, which oh. I hate. Yeah, same. <laughs> they're, they're three and three, and that is the most Bulldogs record you could possibly yep. imagine after these six rounds. Mm-hmm. The Saints... Uh, are in danger of being the most disappointing team so far this season. They made the finals last year. It's like Richmond. They smoked Collingwood. We Mm. knew that Richmond were going to be probably not great. Yeah. And they have not been. We won't be shocked if Melbourne fall off the face of the earth. Radelaide have just like had two weird, horrible, like. He thought they were going to be top four. We we weren't sold. (laughs) No. It's the umpire's fault. But St. Kilda two and four (laughs) after being. Very good at times. Because we just said they're going to win 13 games. And be like, yeah, that's that's right. I don't know. But they'll end up winning like 11, 12 games. Yeah. About right. Sure. Got to learn Ross Lyon's game plan, you see. <laughs> Friday, we had Adelaide come up short, as mentioned, Friday. against Essendon. Oh. 78-75, a weird game. Uh, just 
it was Adelaide should have won. They should have, and I don't know well, how they didn't. Like Bomb, it was, yeah, they should have won from the free kick, but Bombers should have kicked away early. But they not, they not kicked so that. many behinds. The, again, like we said about Adelaide from Gather Round, going into the forward line, choose a better option. I know, I know. Josh Rochelle. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to talk about him later all as your well. flash and, you know, brilliance. He's nervous to Just go towards the ball. do the basics right. I know. Like, Pretty simple. Take a mark. Stringer and Langford were up and about and everywhere for the Bombers, mm-hmm. and it never felt Bob like was really good. either of them, though, Got just desserts, especially on the like in terms of goal king. I think Lank finished Langford finished with two, Stringer only the one. But they sort of Set spread out lot. everything very nicely. And yeah. it was like and from Zach the get-go, Merritt played forward like Zeret was incredible. Like yep. he had like four hundred million touches. Martin was really good. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of everything, you just like how did this sort of unfold? You're like, well, Essendon played like the idealized version of Essendon, which was fast, yeah, good, mm-hmm. attacking. And weren't getting killed defensively. And Adelaide were like, oh, remember how good we were last week? And then just did not do that. <laughs> yeah. For they most did of it the for game. flashes. Jordan Dawson was great. Yeah, he Jordan was. Dawson bounced back, uh, finally. But Saligo had him. like, what, 30? And it's just like, yeah, finally, just keep was, him in the midfield. He's just great. Just keep yeah. him in the midfield. They've got enough good players. It's just, I don't know. They just go missing for like 10 minutes and the other team scores a couple of goals and then they're out of it. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, they're gross. mid. Mm, definitely. Uh, Rochelle is still hilarious. Just everything about him is just the best part yeah. of watching Adelaide games. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it was a weird game. Anything else you want to add to this one apart from Draper laying on the pillow? Uh, Adelaide season's officially over. Yeah. They're one and five. They're not going to make finals this year. Essendon getting to four and two. Their season is set up really nicely mm. with their draw. In typical Essendon fashion, they may find a way to miss the finals completely again. No, but if they can yeah. beat Collingwood next week, they're five and two, and then I think they've got West Coast after it. So. I still think they got no chance of winning but on they, Anzac Day. They, but Anzac Day is always they could be close. six and two, and we're just like, how? Mm. But interesting. Just got to win the games. Yeah. There you go. Good win for Essendon. Great win. Yeah. In the end, but they just didn't deserve it. In the <laughs> it was end, chaos. it doesn't matter. That's <laughs> twice they've done it. I know. Saturday, Collingwood absolutely smashed Port Adelaide after. Sort of. What yeah. was it? A seventy-six point turnaround or something? So yeah, they were up right? by thirty-one. Port Adelaide. I was yeah. up and about. So I said it was seventy-three yeah. point turnaround. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thirty-one points and then winning by yeah. Yes. Forty-two. One twenty-three. Eighty-one. Crazy turnaround. Port was smashing it. They yeah. looked un- like they unstoppable. Five goals after quarter time or something. And then it all fell apart. Collingwood had 12 of the next 13 after that. They were up by 31 port. 12 of the next 13. Port. Bobby Hill was everywhere. You got uh, McCreary's pressure. This Everything was back to prime hey, Collingwood for those two quarters. They miss, were amazing. You're missing the most important Nick as- was good. No, aspect. Will Hoskin Elliott. He was good. Yeah, He wasn't good. He yeah. was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got he them going. Did a bit of everything, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. There was a goal that I think he kicked from like outside the 50 yeah. where you're like, was that a snap around his body that just went 52 metres? Like, I still will never awesome forgive anyway. him for not kicking a goal in that final <laughs> yeah, in 2022. Yeah. Honestly, I just needed one wheel. <laughs> uh, but obviously, this is just the simple idea of like, all right, so Collingwood are back. Mm. Port Adelaide? I guess you could say they're back. <laughs> but uh, what do you say about Port Adelaide? Port Adelaide are frauds. They are. they are. They are. I keep I, telling you. I wasn't sure if I was on, your, on, the, on that. Haven't challenge, beaten a top eight team. Right. I know Collingwood aren't in the top eight, but they haven't been a top eight team since they randomly beat the Giants in the back end of last year. I'm telling you. Frauds, absolute frauds. Mm. I love me some C Rosie, but he was he was micro. horrible. He was good early, but then it was just like nothing. Well, Butters had uh, yeah fifteen and a goal in the first as well. I think he had six touches combined in the second and third quarters. Brutal. He couldn't get anywhere near it. So there was the, all the commentators was good good discussion point of without Connor Rosie and Butters firing, what it, what else is there for Paul? You got and hey, Jason Juan Francis was okay. He also left late with a cop cop and yeah, but he's fine. It was funny because they said he was cramping and he probably needs a few more ice baths. Ah, yeah, yeah, I don't get it. That's <laughs> uh, good. Uh, it's good chat that one. Uh, but the pies, look, I think this is again. We talk about idealized versions of team. Yeah, teams like this is it, right? Like they were just had all those sort of random guys just go bang, like a Will House Canelia. Yes, like McCreary, as you said, makes was unreal. Sense. Like last year, they just awesome. got all their depth. You're like, I don't see any bad player in this team when they're when they're firing. Yeah, yep. even Mason Cox, like when they're firing, he looks good. He kicked a couple of goals as well. So good job Hard to beat. Nice team. one, Collingwood. Yeah. Uh, they are now. Just hanging out, three and three. Not bad. Port slipped to four and two after that. Still yeah. started well, but that was horrible. It was about right. Yeah. Carlton. Da, 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 oh. da, 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 117, 98 over the GWS Giants. This was a very weird game. Fun it was, game. It was the best game of the year. For a neutral, yeah, it was great to watch. Great to watch. It was... Uh, Not as good as the Port. If we had Melbourne the uh, the heart monitor mm-hmm. on me, it would have sucked because uh, that... F- 
I'm going to check what Carlton, the line was in the Swans game today. <laughs> Carlton simply just can't win anything easily, right? And so it took, what, this the premiership third quarter, thanks to my beloved 1995 Carlton Blue, <laughs> the eight goals straight to go from, what, 20 points down basically to up, and you're like, oh, I don't know what just happened. Mm. Uh, the squid next to me, he's like, why is everybody keeping on cheering? So Because we keep because kicking Well, goals. it was weird because GWS got on top at one point, and you're like, Oh crap! I, the thought game's gone. I thought they were going to kick away. The Everyone, orange, the yeah. orange tsunami was up and about. It was great. Yeah. You were flat. Yeah, oh, they looked horrible. The like Blues Carlton, do have that where they have a five or ten minute period and then they're like, "All right, we'll get back into you." I think the 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 worst part is like Carlton. Look, this is the thing that I keep banging on about, and any Carlton fan who's watching these games is one hundred percent on board. They're like lack of defensive accountability from the midfield mm. is brutal at times, yeah. and so like on the rebound, Carlton get punished probably worse than any team that I watch. Like so quickly oh, and so North easily. <laughs> but then every time this happens, like the second half, there's like adjustments that they yeah. make and it just worked. Yep. So the four yeah. line finally fired up. Tom to Koning was absolutely unreal. Like I don't know how much shine this will get, but he was they, played, they played Pito and TDK. It worked. And it worked. Yeah, yeah. Because they sort of could rotate Pito enough, enough and Harry and Charlie could sort of just fill in the gaps at the front. But TDK, whenever he slung forward, it was awesome. It was great, he yeah. could take a clunk like anybody. It's mm-hmm. awesome. So... Manny, Manny Kennedy in his 100th game kicked an awesome goal late to seal it all, basically. Doing uh, his best, Bakaya Saka. But the problem <laughs> is, like, Carlton now have, like, 11 of their best 22 probably injured. Yeah. So it's but you're still it's winning. 11? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Well, I think it's like – I haven't it, thought about it. It's about much. seven. Yeah. And but then, then you've you got, got a couple of guys other ones 50, who are like 50, in yeah. Yeah. who might also be in and out of the best nah, 22. Fair. But so. that, the fact that you beat GWS without that, that's great. To be honest, it's like – Bank five wins, happy days in the first year. Exactly, round. yeah. Whatever. Opposite to last year. Yep. You start Feels. Flying. Feels. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. But that third quarter ruled. The eight goal straight was unreal. And I think you could sort of like Sam Walsh and Cripps had like a, basically about one million touches between them. Yeah. And that actually made a big difference. And 70, 74 for What, what did I say, Jim? Yeah. Yeah, Sam Walsh is back. Clearances are 74 back. 74 touches and 19 clearances between uh, Cripps and Walsh. That seems like a lot. That as is so as, many. Well, as soon as they started getting those North clearances. Melbourne didn't get that many. I don't even think we had that many disposals as a team. <laughs> yeah, yeah those, those set of clearances, like it literally became like found gold. And yeah. like as soon as they had first hand on the footy, like it turned the game around. Yep. And hmm. it was Cripps. It was Walsh. Uh, Blewett was pretty good as well, George Hewitt. Yep. And I don't know, the way that Carlton sort of won that game, turning around, a lot of offensive footy, but it was still absolute tenterhooks the down old the stretch rule. as they tried their hardest Get to Get to 100, you'll win the game. Yep. Yep. Nice good. one. Toby Green suspended as is Jesse Hogan. Both got a week. Well, did he get yeah. a week, yeah. Toby? Oh, I don't know about it. I think he was going for a mark. He jumped into his face. He, he jumped into his guy. He jumped into his face. stats guy. He turned his body and shouldered him in the oh, face. I don't have to agree with We that, had this yeah. argument with Peter Wright. He shouldered him in the face. Don't right. do it. Just don't shoulder people in the head. Yeah. Brisbane, trying. 37. This game ruled. Geelong, I 63. I like this game. Yeah, same. Yeah. Torrential downpour. That's cool. Old school. That's why I wrote old school. It just felt like we needed more mud. We just needed to be more muddy. For anyone who's listening to this that understands horse racing, <laughs> the Gabba was in worse nick than Royal Randwick yesterday. Oh, was oh yeah, because it was bucketing down, wasn't it? Because it was no, 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 no. Go on, the more generic happy one. <laughs> is the ground was in worse nick than the Dubai airport? Yeah, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's is that bad? I don't even know. It was like there's underwater. been a monsoon in Dubai. Oh, I'm sorry. It never rains in Dubai, yes, and they're and not I, built for rain. It. Yes, and it's flooded. Sorry, that went over my head. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it was Crazy. literally, it looked like a sea. Yeah, it was chaos. <laughs> so that's what I'm but talking about. But it was great about. for a footy footy game. I love watching that. Except for Tom Hawkins. He, yeah. yeah, he should have seen that weather thing and just gone, oh, Scotty, so I got I've got some, I got some hamstring awareness here. Like, what do you mean? It's like, I'm aware of my hamstring. The weather, the weather it looks like hamstring awareness is going I'm, I'm aware of how old I am and how bad I don't like, want to play honestly, this game. Honestly, I, I saw it radio. Like, this is not a night for Tom Hawkins. Yeah, he start, He ended the game okay, but he start, the first yeah. half was horrible, wasn't he it? He would have had like six touches. Mm. But it was like, it was amazing to see the goal kickers for... Geelong in this one, it's like literally all. It's like all Ollie Smalls. Henry had two, two, but everything else was like Stengel two. Stengel was great. Harfit yeah. Myers close. But it was Bows Bowies Bowies Bows Bows or Bows sorry Bows Bows Bows. And you're like, yeah, that checks out. Whereas like for the Lions, Tom like, Hawkins eight disposals. Nobody big, got yeah. around it. Well, None of the big dudes. When got they have it. so many big guys, including their rucks, including like all their four, well, they so big. Face got caved in. Yeah, before Oscar, that was a turning point of the game as well. Conway, he was absolutely destroying Conway mm. only in his third game or so. Conway. Yeah. And and then as soon as he went off, uh, yeah, Conway sort of because well, Joey him. had to go into the rock. Joey had to go the into the rock. The yeah. just goes bang and just yeah. that's yeah. Like, yeah. His face was. We also had massive. Lockie Neal and Danger getting into like a bit of a brouhaha at one point, which was sick. You like just. 
Are you guys just arguing about who's the better player? Yeah. <laughs> I'm better than you. Go on, win two. Like, it was like, I got two. Yeah, 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 but then Danger's like, see this premiership medal? Yeah. 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 Suck it. <laughs> uh, but this was really close. And then, because it was like, obviously, super tight mm. throughout the first half. Great. And then Geelong just sort of pulled away. And Brisbane, Brisbane kept trying to play dry weather footy in the wet weather. Like, all this handball. It's yeah. like, guys. Just kick it. Yeah. Well, even Tomahawk, did you see Tomahawk's torp? He, he talked about oh, 60 cool. metres, whereas Brisbane were trying to hit the perfect pass and yeah, it didn't Just work. get it Just long. get it long, boys. It's pouring. Good job, Geelong. Unbeaten. Brisbane, Unbelievable. gone. Cooked for the season? Cooked for the season. Did, well, fine. They're going to make finals. Two, four. They're two and four. They're going to make finals. They're we everything else keep, at home. Yeah, but if they keep losing at home. I can't believe they've lost three. They could also them. rip off eight straight at home. They'll have, surely they, have, mean, they, they only have, what, they have seven had, games at home left for the season. They haven't had an easy record to start. Surely the next like four weeks are pretty pretty easy. I'm going to have a look at that later. All right. Good Do job. Now. Derby. <laughs> West Coast, 105 Frio. The Derby, 60. they say over there, apparently. 105 <laughs> Frio. I'm like, thanks for stepping on the, Sorry. On the joke there, Stats. Sorry, That's I didn't right. know what you doing there. 105 Fremantle 68, question mark. What the hell? This game was absolutely sick. This game I was, was like, over at quarter time. I was watching the end of it going, what, what, is, what is happening? Like, this is absolutely chaos. And what happened? Harley Reid. Harley Reid. Harley Yo. North Melbourne legend. <laughs> Harley Reid. The hanger that he took in the goal square, like, what, in the first five minutes yeah. was absolutely sweet. Then he got another one. He and he just hanger. kept doing it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then he rules. sat Fife on his ass. Yeah, that was awesome. And Fife started trying to get into him. He just goes, wham. Because during the week, he th- Harley Reid threw the gauntlet down. He's, they were talking about these numbers or something. Mm. Harley Reid's like, oh, guess that's what happens when Freo aren't a contested ball team like us. It's like, yes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and, then he, and then he brought the play. He didn't, he didn't play bad. So. But this, like, we laughed at West Coast for so long. It's like, they're actually fit. Yep. All their dudes are on the park, except for Oscar Allen. Yeah. Imagine. Ali, Ali Yo, he's actually having a consistency because he's fit. fit. Yeah, and he's, an, he's still McGovern, a star. McGovern, Barras. Yeah. They, they, Alex, Warner, Fra- or the water boy is killing it. Fraser Garrick, thank you. Fraser Garrick. Waterman. Waterman. <laughs> the, what, Jaya Miss goes out early as well, right? Yeah, knocked out. That did help. He, yeah. f- what, but it was Mc- in the marking yeah, contest. Yeah, but hit McGovern his head. would have given him a bath anyway and, uh, before me he's in. Mm. It was all just a weird one, like Freo. What do you now make of Fremantle? That's the question. It's I like, said the other week that they're three and three, yeah. and you're like, oh, I don't know what to make of this team. They're not going to make finals, no way. Uh, I, I want to see how they go against the Dogs next week, and then I'll be able to make a call. All right. I just yeah, they don't have enough firepower to kick because they host the Dogs next week. Yeah, right. They host the so Dogs. So if yeah. the Dogs roll up and pump them, I'm like, all right, I'm done with Freya for the year. It yeah. is the most classic thing of the Dogs though to roll in there and get smashed. Yeah, so. that's what I mean. Well, yeah. the, the British, I can't, I'm not going to say this. The Dogs won They're pretty yeah. good at, at uh, in the West. I'm the Dogs sure. won there last year, they're, I think. They're a good team at Optus, Optus Stadium. Uh, in fact, we can check that. Yeah. Uh, yes. 102.73, that might have been over here though. Let's find out. If it was early last year, yeah, it was over that's there. Here, fair, yes, fair. that's here. Yeah. Anyway. That's all right. Good stuff. Uh, so for the <laughs> first time the first time in, si- in six years that West Coast kicked 100 plus points in consecutive weeks. Six years? That's their flag year. <laughs> Jeez. So they're going to win the flag is what you're telling us, Alex. Harley, Reed. <laughs> Harley Reed is going to take year. them to the promised land. Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, there you go. They're going to name the they derby. Did win, they did win over there last year, the dogs. So. Yeah. Anyway, Freo Stink. Good job, West Coast. Massive. Sunday, movement. Sydney. Big Gold Coast. 110-57. Yeah. Uh... This was a weird one, Alex. Yeah. Um, I caught a time like, sweet, the Swans are going to win this by 70 points. This <laughs> Easy, is awesome. Yeah. And then the Swans in the second quarter like, we're going to let Gold Coast play. And it wasn't fun. They kicked one point. But you take out that. It was very sporting of them to go, <laughs> we'll, let you, we'll let you catch up. We'll let yeah. you kick a point. You guys get into form. Here we go. Yeah, we go. Then yeah. we'll smash it after So that. apart from that 20 minutes of that quarter, the Swans kicked 17 goals to, I think it was five. So I was just like, really? yeah, oh, it was just, okay. it, it was a belting. The first half uh, was gross, but in the second half, this one just went, all right, foot down. We are way better than you. Brody Grundy absolutely destroyed Witsy all day. He did. Game 200. He was best on. Right? He it was, was in a Marty party. Yeah, there was yeah. a Marty party up front with four. Errol was quiet, yet he had 30. <laughs> what? Yeah, so he's like, got a great haircut. But like, yeah, he, he didn't do much, and he's had 30. Oh. Um, the Swans have now kicked 100 plus in four of their five wins. Wow. So that was great. Stupid Sexy Flanders had 30. He Love was him. great. He was great, yeah, yeah. yeah. You but, can, no, but it was like Noah Anderson took Miller. They were that great. Like, what Noah, is Noah couldn't get near the ball but, as well. But Took literally sort of stayed in the center square all day. It was weird. Like mm. he was sort of carrying something. He did have Robottom sort of going yeah, at him a little bit. Maybe he was a bit into it. But um, Jed Walter and Ethan Reed, like you can see what the future is. I love Jed Walter. He's yeah. unreal. Mm. That dude rules. He looks like he's, <laughs> he's got a 1970s. I feel like Jed Walter, like, 
His name's Jed as well. Outside of like every Carlton player, Jed Weldon might be my favourite footballer. The, I reckon you're he the is, first person, not even a Suns fan, would have said that. He is so cool. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm on the Jed Welter train. Yeah. So Anybody random. else wants to jump on board, there's plenty of room. <laughs> there is. You're the only I one. I will be your conductor. I'll wear a stupid hat. <laughs> It'll be a Jed Welter conductor hat. Yeah. I'm driving the Jed Walter as a gun train. This yeah, is awesome. That's fair. And he, and he does look at like he only had six or seven touches. I was going to say, he's not a gun couple yet. of clunks, a <laughs> couple of tackles. He got punched in the it's face the at one the point. It's the vibe of the things, Stats, boy. It's the vibe of the Like, Ruben like, like, has got the same haircut and he's jacked. Yeah, that's that, awesome. Yeah, true, um, true. But, yeah, anyway, the Swans have 100 plus in four of their five wins. They're looking good. Um, it just showed that that West Coast win wasn't as bad as we all thought it was two weeks ago. Yeah. Beating him by six goals now looks kind of good. Yep. Uh, and the problem for Gold Coast is, once again, they've been flogged away from home. They haven't won away from home since the 12th of May last yeah. year where they beat West Coast by 70 points. Yeah. It's horrible. I think they get you to play a few games in Darwin soon, soon so yeah. they'll be all right up there. And they'll be right at uh, Heritage. Heritage. Oh, no, what is it? People's, People's first. first. <laughs> we always forget the People's first, uh, whatever that place is called. They'll be right there. Yeah. In a way, you cannot back them. You can't. So, yeah, the Swans are really setting themselves up. They're 5-1 and one. Hawthorne next week here. They win that. They're 6-1 and one going into a battle of the bridge. Ooh. That'd be a good game. Yeah. Speaking of Hawthorne, they smashed North Melbourne 113 68. Stats boy, take us through it. I'm just going to chuck this over there. Bloody hell. Nah, the North Joy- Scarf is out. I'm just throwing the co- toes out Fake of the cot. Fan. Oh, I'll still, I, I stay till the end. I will go every week. That's I'm, annoying because we wanted to do this show early. We could have, we could have taped this after the first quarter. Oh, come on, you, it was about five minutes <laughs> we, later we than I said. We could have started anyway. this at three quarter time. <laughs> yeah, we probably could have. Uh, yeah, no good. Obviously, North have absolutely no defense. I know you talked about Clarko. Being a bit shambles as a coach, it's coming out in the play. I think. What happened to Clark Ball? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were playing Clark well, we Ball. It's not working. Clark Ball. <laughs> it's not working, Jim. Sorry, Gerald. It's not working at all. We've got so many defenders pushing up into the front half, and then we don't have any quick guys to run back and keep up with them. So, uh, Biggie was just jogging. Aiden Core is not up to AFL, VFL, local footy standard. Oof. He is horrible, but we don't have any big guys to replace him. My message him. to Stats Guy. Yeah. Uh, hold on, Sound where about, is sound it? about Aiden Core. Yeah, I was He's like, it's just horrible. Do you guys have defenders? And Sats guys, no. I'm like, why do they keep having three loose in the Ford 50 <laughs> at all times? Oh, it ha- it's happened last year. I thought that would, yeah, we'd uh, change it up and actually defend first. I think that's what we need to go back to, defend first, because that Clarko ball or whatever you want to call it is very attack oriented. That was Clarko's first thing when we he started at Hawthorne. It was defend first. Hawthorne, I said this in our video if you want to check it out on Instagram. Clarko doesn't care. He's making his money. He's just like, I'm yeah. half invested. Do you remember that holiday oh, I took last exactly. year? Exactly. He might have another sick. one. He's Honestly, like, actually, what are we now? Like, I wouldn't six. Mate. Hey, we won our first two games, but this year... Um, this yeah, year, I'm I thought six, you were saying he's going to like just go, oh, geez. So, oh, you know yeah. what the problem is? Barley sounds pretty good around there. <laughs> North, North won those two games last year. Since then, they've been 1-27. You know what that win cost them? Harley Reid. Harley Reid. Yeah. Hate to see you, it. You are, that has aged so wonderfully for you about, in oh, well, five days. But even if he played, we still would have got smashed. Today. But so, you would have had Harley Reid. That's true, that's true. How do you, Sheasel... Oh. Suva, uh, LDU wasn't great. LDU wasn't like Suva very wasn't great. It felt like LDU was like good the first five minutes. was really good. Uh, I'm almost starting. To, I've never agreed with Kane Corns in my life until this moment about him talking about uh, Sheezel being wasted at half back. We've got LDU out of form. Simpkin really out of form. Well, He's they playing, sent uh, Sheezel into the middle of a little the, bit in the first half. Yeah, right? but I so think he probably back could he be. Got- Washed. So. Yeah, and he's not—he's yeah. not going to be in the back line to defend. He's in—he could be in the middle just to get some clearances. Connor Nash was really good for the Hawks. Simkin being horrible, which he's supposed to be like a skipper and trying to lead the team and things like that. Yeah, not good being a North fan. Hawks looked really good on the counter attack, and I don't know if this was Hawks being good. It was more North being bad. So I, I Moore think, yeah. and Lewis and Moore was great. Four goals, all fantastic. Yep. So yeah. and Look. Connor Nash. Connor Nash was literally doing. He was getting a mark in def- defense, and then he was getting an assist in the in the fourth half. So he was great. Like this is like this sort of game that you want to see if you're a Hawks fan. Obviously, you're just like yeah, there's like a spark there. The talent is there. We've got something. Mm. North. This oh. has been my biggest problem with your team all year, Stats Boys. Like a fighting loss. We haven't seen it yet. Well, it, really, so we like shouldn't even have a fighting loss against so the Hawks. Haw- yeah. Just for example, Hawthorne lose by this ones to four goals next week. You're okay with that? Hundred, yeah, basically, they're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, they, they are. They, they have been most them, weeks. Like, yeah. yeah, that's why North. Yeah, not at all. You Hawks got, have had some absolute stinking lay down, like that yeah. smashing in the hands of like Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. like. But North have they just fought been against whipped. Geelong despite what the scoreline said. Like they were, they were really good against them in like the second and third quarter. Yeah, Hawks, yeah. Hawks have only averaged sixty three a game, and they got seventy two. How are we still half. talking about this? I game. Don't know, I'm just sick of it. Tipping results. Next. I think 
Three, me, Stats Boy, two, Alex. Unos. <laughs> How is that possible? That is oh. a galaxy brain to come with games. What do we get? Between I still us can't six believe I didn't us. galaxy brain myself into West Coast either, though, so not bad. All right, full credit to the boys. Best team of the round, 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 round. Carlton. Carlton. Hashtag. You're both going Carlton. Flaggers. Yeah, Lids enough. off. Lid is off! I'm loving it! They beat GWS. Yeah. So. The lid was not off at halftime, though. They didn't have Sam Taylor. That's the only thing. They didn't have Sta- Sam Taylor. They didn't have Keneally. Keneally. Yeah, but we he- could run through the injury list of Carlton I know, as well. I know, I know. It'll just be interesting when they play again. But look, in, a, think- in a weekend when not a lot happened, I'm going Carlton. Fair enough. So the point being, best team of the round, there is, when that actually happens, like the, to be honest, like when GWS actually went ahead, they, like the inexorableness of the tsunami, the orange mm-hmm. tsunami, the blue train. There we go. We'll go with the blue train. <laughs> the way that that hit, but like to see your team have like that exhilarating of a oh, run is right. absolutely sick. Even Crips, I think, was on radio today going, yeah, that ruled. <laughs> we felt good. No, seriously, it. it was wicked. It's like, yeah, it was really good up in the stands as well. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was losing my mind. their mind. My five-year-old son was going, what's happening? <laughs> Everyone's Dad, can I keep going on, my, on your phone? I'm like, yeah, buddy, go, go nuts. <laughs> so this, actually, the same thing happened when Tom Papley took a mad slips catch today. I was like, just that's when the Swans run got going. The crowd was up and about. Well, he took a mad slips catch on the boundary and he snapped around the corner to kick a goal. I like through the TV. I have not heard the SCG that loud in a long time. Awesome. And then this one just went bang, bang, bang. It was just like game over. <laughs> game over. It was sick. Awesome. But, like, the cool thing, I think, for Vibes. that is just like literally in the back of your head, you'll have that as well. Like no matter where you're getting beaten, you'll be like, we can get on a run, but yeah. we can actually turn this around. I like that, Jim. That's yeah. the Collingwood. You know yeah. what it is? It's the hope. It's the hope that kills you, but also it's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> Stats boy, best team of the ground of the round. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't argue with Carlton. They were right up there, obviously. I'm going West Coast. No one thought they were going to win the Derby. I don't think hardly anyone would have tipped them. Harley Reid stepped up. 8%. There you go. That's a, that's a good little nice. stat there. They were awesome. Just a lot of the older guys are back. They're fit. McGovern's fit. Yo's fit. They're actually an exciting team to watch. A few of the guys that won them a flag are just getting a lot of the ball. And then you Harley Reid was so though. exciting. That will be the most exciting team to watch on the weekend, I think. Yeah, Barras got suspended for his uh, yes. uh, hit, tackle. Yeah, yeah. so they play Gold Coast up there. And then they also turn up Maybe every week, West Coast fans as well. They they still have a big crowd, and I, it's awesome. Nice. Yeah. All right, best player on the ground of the week. Mine's Patrick Cripps, 39 touches, new kid. He's got that new dad strength. And also Patrick Cripps 2.0, a.k.a. Ooh. North Melbourne's finest, Harley Reid. <laughs> Boom. God, he was good. I'll tell you what, Stats Boy. You'd hate to have not drafted him because you didn't. Oh, you don't need him, though. That's all right. I don't sorry. run North sorry, Melbourne, Sorry, like, sorry I, forgot, I forgot that you didn't need him. That's fine. That's don't fine. need him. Yeah. Uh, but Cripps is, like, incredible. He... There's like two. There's two big moments that the of, during that game where he took a massive mark, yeah, uh, in the forward fifty, and then sort of cut it across, and it's like turned into a goal. Massive moment, and then just literally every time that he was like, oh, guess what, boys, I'll get us the ball. It was incredible. It was awesome. What a game. Love that. Stats boy. Uh, Bailey Dale. A lot of people don't talk about him. 39 disposals. A lot 92. Of people don't talk about him. Don't, don't talk about him enough. I think t- last year he was great. The year before that he was great. He was sort of an underrated player at the Dogs. Then Bevo goes, nah, you're, uh, you're going to be dropped or you're going to be sub. 39 disposals, 92% efficiency, one goal, nine score involved. Gonna give the dog some insulin. Yeah, as Jim gets a little reminder on his phone there. <laughs> Thought he was amazing and he said, Stuff you've ever, I'm playing uh, the next, at least I'm for the rest of the season. I'm never gonna talk about Bailey Dale. He was amazing. He didn't miss a target that's, at all. There was one that he missed his target was because. You said he went at 92%. That, because that means his he, teammates he dropped at least an one. easy mark. That was legit. A two that, that cost him that 100%. He was amazing. Got a goal from halfback. Loved, loved watching him. It was yeah. fun. When the dogs play well, yeah. Like, I think. They're fun to watch. They yeah. are fun, but the problem is you just you, – I hate it because you can't trust Eli. No. Do this again. It's a bit of self-loathing for me just watching once. them. <laughs> so I was going to make a gag about a bit North Melbourne's best draft there, but Jim stole my thunder, but Harley Reid was great. But in all seriousness, Brody Grundy – He was awesome. Was absolutely awesome today for this one's absolute mm-hmm. three votes. Um, got about 160 super coach points as well for those that kept the right. faith. I was great. And yeah, kicked a great. goal – did not know what he was doing when he took off on the run to run around that was, good, that was a good mark, yeah. Yeah, but no, but he, he's run around on the angle and he slotted it and the crowd went bananas, but every, everyone was just like, how did he do that? He doesn't usually do that. <laughs> yeah. He was awesome. Bad. The unicorn. Yeah. He also looks, he looks so wonky in the Swans colours. Yeah. Do like, you think? Oh, I don't I, mind I, I think it's just weird because you're just used to even used like to not really. those colours. Mm. In, in dark colours. That's true. Because like even the Melbourne colours, it sort of suits his visage, but the red and white, it's very bright. <laughs> Very up and about. You're like, did you, did you see man. the thing he put out on social media for his 200th game on the Swans? Yeah. Uh, go check it out. It's pretty funny. Okay. He's a weird check. dude. He's a weird dude. He comments a unicorn on every post. Yes, yeah, like every. He's a strange every, man. Yeah, I love everyone it, I love at the Swans is like, we love him. 
but he's weird. Because he's, he's, a, he's a rare unit. <laughs> he's that's why he's cat. a unicorn, yeah. The Crips 2.0 thing. So Harley Reid, not I'm to calling on Chris about. Judd. But the, that's nah, my point. I feel Chris, like the Chris Judd thing. Chris, like, he's bigger, he's bigger he's than Chris bigger Judd. Than Chris yeah. Judd. Yeah, but he's Chris Judd was like this typical, like, I'm in and out, just like under. He yeah, was playing for West Coast. But the thing was. Crips, you could do everything. But the thing was, Judd was getting it out of packs and just sprinting off and kicking goals, and that's what he's doing already. Judd wasn't taking the hangers, but it's that clearance, strength, and speed that's what everyone's like, that's Chris I'd Judd. Say, I'd say Danger or Crips, I'd go. Danger is very similar. Dark. Because he's got the size, right? I yeah, just, you can see him Crips forward. Were you in like America for Chris, for Chris Judd? No, no. I was over here. Okay. I love Chris Judd. Yeah. He's he's playing legend. for the Blues. He's playing yeah, for the Blues. Brown, though, yeah. yeah. West, uh, West Coast as well. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Green Funnels. Old mate, no mates. Who's got no mates this week? Toby Green. Uh, that was a dog act. Oh, just another classic Toby Green that. dog act. He hasn't been suspended for three years. He's had a good run. He's had a good run. <laughs> every, every dog can change their spots if they're <laughs> he's a dumb back, He's back. <laughs> nah, I hate him. Uh, Tom, Tomahawk, giving oh. up the 100 metres was pretty funny. That yeah. was some old mate no mates because you're just like, you're acting up at that point. He always has a sook, Tom. Was no, 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 he doesn't have a sook. He's like, I didn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, that but he just amazing. stood in front of him. Yeah, yeah. It was great, giving man. up the hundred meter penalty was amazing. He's like, oh god, god, do something. It's like, you idiot, Tom. <laughs> just old oh, mate, no mates. But yeah, it's Toby Green. I think uh, how late that hit was. Like, even though it's like contested, you're like, mm. yeah, it's still high. But the fact that he turned his shoulder, everybody there was like, you. It's not a good look. We might storm the field. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so, I'm surprised someone didn't. So I'm surprised you didn't. I'm from, just from the top level. I'm top an, level, just jumping down. I'm annoyed he hasn't got squid. Sit sit down. I'm that annoyed he bad. hasn't got two weeks. I wanted him to cop two. Oh, so he doesn't so have to this is the swans. <laughs> oh, no. He, that would be a massive out. Yeah, I know. Bloody hell. He's got one. Uh, stats boy? Uh, I'm going to go Joshua Sally. He was just, he's a bit of a cat at the moment, not going towards the ball. Also, Don't okay. look at us. You stare down I'm the camera. At, yeah, he's just, he's being scared. He's scared of going for the ball. There was no one within 30 metres of him twice where he just had to go out for a mark and he's probably thinking, oh, someone might touch me or bump me or something. And he dropped two easy marks. Kicked a few out in the full. Just, I don't know what's going on with him. Last year, he was taking some big clunks, and he's just not himself at all. He also Looks scared out it, there. Copped it online from Adelaide fans, which is pretty funny. Well, yeah, and, uh, uh, he doesn't deserve that, obviously. Yeah. But he, all I know is Leo's clipping up uh, him stats guy saying uh, Joshua Shelley's scared. He is. He is. I don't know why. I, I used to like him as a player. He, he can get back to that, but at the moment, he's not playing like himself. After. His carry on last week and then this week, mm. you're like, ah, oh, yes, the rise and fall. Of yeah, man, he's all mate, no mate, just because his teammates are going, come on, you're better than that. Yeah. Our whole fold line's been Also, that he yeah. does butcher the ball going into the 450 yeah. every time. Yeah. Nice yeah. one. And you went with Tomahawk as well, Alex. I, yeah, but I didn't go for giving away the hundred. I just went because it was a monsoon and Hawkins had to play. It just, it's not a <laughs> it's not a night for a power forward. Well, he used to be a run, though, but not anymore. Nah, it's getting older. Just, yeah. 38 year old Tom Hawkins should have taken the night off. Yeah, fair. Why I can't stand. Let's play Jim Bingo. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. This is just... Over the roof! <laughs> Do your again. job! <laughs> Injuries. <laughs> okay, well, He's done. I was going to say, we always have a roof, yeah. roof talk. The roof thing was particularly annoying this week because it was a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It was great Melbourne. today as well. It's like, yeah. yo, just open the roof. Yeah. It's just... Was it hot? Annoying. It was, it was actually quite cold inside. Yeah. Anyway, that was annoying. And obviously the umpires, it was chaos. Every like, And this is it. If you're going to games, and I don't know what Andrew Gill and Dylan is doing, like not giving going, North dr uh, clearly drastic. just sort of sitting there, like at games, just going, "Oh no, I can't hear the will of the people," because <laughs> if you are at these games, every time they go to a goal review, Ugh. everybody in the place is like, "I'm out." Yeah. This, it breaks up the game. It breaks up the experience. It's a you horrible You have to celebrate twice The or commentators are now taking the piss. Yeah. They are, yeah. Anyway. Which is rare. They yeah. don't usually have a goal. And obviously injuries. Like, I mean, Zach Williams. Mm, no good. Escaped seemingly. It's a knock. What, it was what like did it end knock. up happening there, actually? They said it was a knock on okay. his Achilles. I think Weed has also had a corky. But, yeah, Carlton being down to Zach Williams and, like, there yeah. was a – like a plethora, I think, of those sorts of injuries across the weekend. So, so. Taylor Adams copped a real nasty hey, corky on the inside of his leg. All right, what can't you stand, Alex? Ruckman, why are you standing so deep in throw-ins? It's round Good six, call. boys. Good call. Weird. They keep falling short. Get in front. Don't stand 25 metres back. Stand 15 metres in front. You'll be there. You'll be like, oh, sick, it's going to come straight to me. Bang, yeah. straight down front and centre. Easier for a little one out of the back as and well. Then if, and if the other ruckman behind you clutters into you, you're going to get a free kick. They're starting like on a wing. Like so many times yeah. you're seeing them start and they're running near the centre. And, and, and they hit it like, and it's near happening? their knees. Do they think the boundary has got a cannon that can just Boys. shoot at a 50 metres? I, I know ruckman aren't the, the brightest tools in the shed. <laughs> Oof. It's round it's six. You should have figured it out by now. The boundary throw-ins, 
are going to fall short. Big man, hip ball. <laughs> anyway, all right, Stats Boy, what can't you stand? We've already talked about him, but Sam Draper, reenacting his diving on the ball. What an absolute spoon. I, don't, no, I, don't, I love this. I don't no, know. It's, no, it's funny because he plays no. for Essendon. Trolls. <laughs> it's... Do you not think it's going to find a way, the footy gods will find a way to bite well, Essendon in the so. ass? I hope so. There is like 100% of a chance that Essendon will miss out on the finals because of like a call that goes against yeah. them in like round 24. I think the funny thing and is- it's like yeah. somebody will then like yeah. reenact the Sam Draper and like reenact the or, call that's just yeah. going against Sam Draper should get like a push in the back free kick, like getting tackled in yeah. the back and he ends up sprawled on the ground going, ah. That would be great. I think it's, it's just a lot of talk from a guy that could get dropped in the next couple of weeks. He had six disposals, kick See, one out on the full- Goldie's been pretty good for them. And they don't, they don't need Sam Draper, yeah. I don't think. So, right. so, so, so it's the old, a lot of chatter for not doing much. If you're Tom Papley, you kick four and have 20, you exactly. can talk you all can, you, you can, want. Like, yeah, like talk, people talk about Usain Bolt. He always talks a lot of crap. He was the fastest man in the world. Draper is doing nothing. Uh, he needs to stop talking crap. One. Run faster. Sam Draper. <laughs> yeah, he should, yeah. Why not? Super coach Wash from this week. Obviously, Harley Reid, Chris Huge. Jones. Mixed with North Melbourne. Cripps, mixed with Michael Jordan. Uh, <laughs> Michael Jordan, oh. Mixed with Wayne Gary. Uh, <laughs> 147. Very He's good. Tom Brady. He's a better bloke than Wayne Kennedy. Dacos ripped off. N Dacos ripped off. Not not Josh. Josh wasn't bad. 133. <laughs> yeah. Very, very good. I, back, I yeah. loopholed with uh, Nick. That's good. I, I Pretty didn't smart. Trust that. That yeah. I didn't trust the Pies midfield against mm. Port. Well, and I thought they were going to run awesome. him off half back. That's why. I, yeah. He played a bit of both, but mainly. Yeah. Brody Grundy, big one for Supercoach as well. The 161, I think, did he end up on? Yeah, yeah he okay. got scaled up to 161. Yeah, his break-in was like 80. I love Manny awesome. Roberts, one of those rookie prices as well, who's absolutely still what? crushing it. And he'll get uh, def- the defensive uh, DPP this week. Yes, love which that. is very Because handy. he was off halfback all yes. day for this one. So there's a lot of points. guys, like Nick Martin will get uh, DPP. Uh, I can't think of Good, I can put Manny Roberts head. in my back line. Yeah. yeah. And of course, uh, yeah, hopefully you got Closey in and Common end up with 55, so yeah. they were the two most trailing in this week. So not bad. Not bad, yeah. But a tough one. And oh, oh Graham was good as well. He got like 80, I think. Yeah, yeah. 72. Yeah. 72. No, uh, close he got 72. Graham only got 61. 50 or 60. Uh, yeah. 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 Tough not too, one. Not bad, though. Tom Stewart can cast, which is a bit of a rough one. Yeah, um, I got him in my team. Only ended up with 60. It was a weird one. He, he copped it uh, face first. So I thought it might be a broken nose or something. I think it's concussion. Yeah, so that was the last thing I heard. And so. as we talked about on They're Thursday good. show, Riley Sanders was about to get bevoed, and boy, did he get bevoed. <laughs> I know, he got, that's the sub. Mate, was that because he took had a bit of a tantrum, which was nothing wrong? Which no, that just, that just bevo, just going, know. listen here. Hey, they won, so It's bevo a big can... Supercoach week ahead, though, so listen it to is. the Supercoach podcast. Yeah. Uh, round seven. Oh, yeah, we actually we have to look at Wednesday's game, because oh, we'll be doing a Wednesday <laughs> day show yes. that afternoon. Uh there is a Wednesday night game this week. Because this round games. goes for so long. That's great. More footy. footy. Yes. All the footy. Every team's playing as well. What do we do? Footy machine. The donuts. <laughs> yeah. Feed me the footy. Give me the footy. <laughs> footy pie. All the footy. Footy pie. Footy pie. <laughs> footy, footy, footy. And there's no overlap. Oh, that's right. lovely. Yeah, nice. Two teams yes. have both had the bye last week. It is Richmond versus Melbourne. Richmond are one and five. You might remember that. Melbourne are four and two, feeling pretty good about themselves. They're twenty-seven point favourites in this one. There's Ooh. no over/under yet for this one, obviously, because it's Sunday night. I reckon it'll be one sixty-two. Yeah, it's a little. It'd probably be on the slightly lower side, considering that Richmond aren't good. Um, <laughs> but the demons needed the break clearly. Yeah. After that, pretty rough handling by the Lions. Lions, yes. And the Tigers obviously lost to the Eagles the week before. So, look, the demons won the last four against the Tigers, thirty-two and eighteen in the last uh, last year. The 32 was pretty impressive. The 18 yeah. was also pretty good. The Demons should win this. They should. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's pretty close. A weird one. Anzac Day Eve. Big, You've got the it's big, a big game, big thing before the game. I think it's the best 15 minutes before a game all year. It is pretty cool, yeah. I might actually have to go Interesting. to one. Mm. I don't know. I feel like... Uh, Anzac Day is pretty sick, but I, I, just, I think it's because it's at night. All the sure. lights go out. You got uh, the horse. You know, the horse. There's and- a horse there. I'm just like, this is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I like the Richmond Essendon. Uh, dream time. Dream, dream time's really cool. I haven't well, been yeah. to a dream time, yeah. so I can't comment. Dream time yeah. is very, really very, cool. Yeah. Very, very fun experience. Great kit kit matchups always in dream time. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably be picking Melbourne. Mm-hmm. I'll be I'd with probably Melbourne. Probably say by about twenty or though, not the twenty seven. I, I reckon time. Richmond cover because what we've seen this year is Richmond are very good at the MCG. Yep. Yeah. Everywhere else, they they're horrendous. They're it one is hilarious five. that they're one and five and they beat Sydney. They're one and five, they beat Sydney, <laughs> and they've been really competitive in, in most of their games. They're not like they're at, not and at the MCG. Yeah. They're not they like they should have beaten Carlton yeah. at the MCG. So exactly. In, what is it? What's that Pixar movie, Inside Out? Yeah. The one about the emotions. No idea. So there's a new one coming out and Inside Out. So it made me think <laughs> every time I bring up Richmond beating Sydney. All of Alex's emotions are literally just the angry little red dude. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yeah. that is 
No, that's just him always. Like, ah, this is no, also you know. this was also like <laughs> he's a, the voice actor for that. Uh, guys. This is also like one of our bosses, Charlie, texted me today talking about how. The swans at the bigger ground of the MCG struggle, and I just nearly lost yeah, my. Yeah, we, we didn't talk about that on the Thursday. I think show. he's trolling you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he was trolling you. About We're all the for Thanks, Charles. We're so. all for that. Not bad. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tip Melbourne, stats boy. I'll go Melbourne. I think you guys are right. I think Richmond can cover. Their one and five isn't as bad as Hawthorne's one and five. I think Richmond are actually going okay. Really good at the G as well. I reckon it'll be about 18 points. Melbourne yeah. win by. Yeah, it's yeah. Melbourne win. They should win, but Richmond cover. Like th- this will just show us that Richmond aren't great, but it's like Melbourne will be five and two and you still, like, I don't know. Nah, we'll be, doing, yeah, our Wednesday, good, we'll be yeah. doing our Wednesday show this Wednesday Arvo and I might be changing my tune to the point where like, I feel like it's only going to go one way. It's like, oh, actually I think Melbourne might Could smash, smash them. That's so, true. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just as a bit of a galaxy brain. Know, freeing of the vibes <laughs> is how they're going to go. It's like, just put the hurt on somebody. Yep. All right. But there you go. What a week of football it was. That was great. But the best part is what's happening this week. Wednesday footy, Thursday footy, Live Thursday stream. night footy, Friday footy, Saturday footy, Sunday footy. It's a lot of footy. <laughs> Do we have Monday footy? We should have Monday footy. Oh, wait, Give we, me Monday footy. Let's just play. Let's, just, let's get a game going. Uh, we'll have playoffs. <laughs> yeah. But the, we'll also be doing a live stream as well on yes. Anzac Day, which will be you do that fun. Pretty fun. Uh, I can't wait for I'll that. I'll FaceTime so. in from the G with Ooh. the vibes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll just send you back some uh, not very nice photos. Uh, <laughs> either way, but that'll do us for today, for AFL Today Show. Thank you to Alex and Stats Boy. For, Stats Boy actually making it here yeah. is pretty impressive. So. Yeah, just because I, I was devastated. After you, you've stuff. actually had a bad day with Chelsea being robbed in the FA Cup. Oh, too. Celtic won on penalties. My team won in footy. I'm, I'm still okay. I'm still so you're two and two. and Two two and two on the weekend in terms of sporting teams. Okay. Max did win the F1, which I was annoyed about. That's another nice. story. Uh, but thank you to both of you for thank jumping you. on. Pretty uh, because these Sunday night shows, <clears throat> tell you what, it's very fresh and it's way better to do it on Sundays because I'm like, Mondays, we probably forget about oh, it. Like, what happened? <laughs> That's true. What happened yeah. Thursday? I don't remember what happened like four minutes ago. That's Can we wrap up? My laptop's about to die. Nice one. All right. <laughs> remember to smash a like for the AFL Today Show across all of the socials. You can see us doing millions and millions of different things. That's what we do here. On Facey, it is the Sports Today Show, though. Uh, mm-hmm. IGX, Threads, TikTok, YouTube, all the good stuff. And subscribe, star, and like all of our other shows, of course, across all of your podcast apps. What is it? The Crew Today Podcast, Football Today Podcast, NBA Australia, NFL Australia, hold all tickets. Just get all around them, like Steve Alessio around a big yes. snag. That's my that's my coach. Kind of half wing. Well, half, or not my senior coach at, at St. Bernard's, actually. I'm fun, bloody bad. Fun fact Always Alessio. wears the socks up, which you would like at training. Either way, that's it. We'll catch you later this week on Wednesday, and then we'll catch you live on Thursday for more AFL today. Until then, look after yourselves, and remember, footy's back! If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.